this is one of those games. One of those games that everybody knows about. Terrible gameplay, terrible graphics, horrible music. It was even overly expensive when it first came out. This game is absolutely horrible in pretty much every way you can imagine. And now, it's time. Action 52. Oh boy, Action 52. For those of you who don't know about this little gem, run. Seriously, what are you still doing here? Run, get out of here, save yourself! But for those of you who choose not to heed my advice, let me just fill you in. This'll be really quick. It's a very, very, very crappy game. It's 52 little, really bad, sometimes unplayable games put onto one single cartridge and sold for an insane amount of money. It wasn't even officially licensed by Nintendo. There's no seal of approval, but hey, at least it has the action seal of quality. Whatever the hell that is. But anyway, let's get this review started and play some Action 52. This is gonna be painful. Yoshi. Yoshi? Yoshi?! Where's the game? Where, where's Action 52? Where is it? Are you telling me that I've owned an empty box this entire time? The box for Action 52, the sleeve for the game, the manual, this crappy comic book. But I don't own the game? Well, I guess the box isn't completely empty. I get to play Yoshi now, but no Action 52? Wait, actually, now that I think of it, did I ever actually own it in the first place? I never once played it. How the hell do I just own the box? Well, there you go, folks. A game so bad that I've owned the box since I was a small child, and yet I've never looked inside. I mean, what do I do now? I can't review what I don't have. This guy has stupid hair. Look at me now. I've been reduced to reviewing a box. Who the hell is this guy, anyway? Looks like he has his work cut out for him, whoever he is. The video game was so bad that it's busting out of his TV and trying to kill him. Either that, or it was so bad that he's hallucinating. And what does it say on his shirt? Action Game Master? Okay, anyone who wears a shirt like that probably deserves to be eaten by a video game. He probably came up with that name by himself. Action Game Master! King of Games! What a nerd. Well, uh, I've milked this box for about as much entertainment as I think I can. Uh, what now? I'll tell you what. Gal, what the hell? That's right. It is I, the Action Game Master. How the hell are you talking to me right now? How can I see you? Where... What, what's going on? That's not important right now. A anyway, uh, where was I? That's right. I am the Action Game Master here in the flesh. You look nothing like the guy in the box. Shut up. I've gone through some cosmetic changes. What can I say? How are... Why are you here? Oh, I am just a huge fan. Oh, well, uh... Thanks, I guess. But first things first, I have a few complaints about your little review show that I'd like to get off my chest. Pass. Okay, then next I have some requests and suggestions for your show. Pass again. Okie dokie, then I have a gift for you. Pass. Wh why Who passes on a gift? Well, usually when I receive a gift from someone, it's some crappy game that I don't really want to play. How did you know? Okay, so it is a crappy game that I don't want to play. In that case, then just don't even bother. How did you do that? That's not important. No, I think it is important. You just defied the laws of physics and threw a video game at me. How the hell did you do that? The real question is, what game is that? Will the title of the game explain how you hit me with it or how you're talking to me right now? Well, you'll never know until you look now, will ya? Oh, great. Let the review begin! Well, it looks like I'm reviewing the Sega Genesis version today. Although the NES version is far more infamous, and from what I've heard and seen, a lot worse, the Genesis one isn't too far behind in quality. We have a lot to get through, so let's just get started. 52 game reviews starting... now. Right off the bat, the demo that it shows in the beginning is terrible. The player just dies after a short time, walks off the edge of a platform, as the person who bought this game, I would already be regretting my purchase. Also, when the game starts up, it says that it's licensed by Sega. And then on the very next screen, it says to ignore any mention of Sega and that the game is not licensed or produced by Sega. Good job, guys. Your knowledge of programming wasn't even good enough to take out that first part. Okie dokie, game number one. Bonkers. Oh, that's... that is nightmare fuel right there. 
So it's a puzzle game. It seems like the goal is to hit these little green ball blocks, but you can't do that until all the other blocks are destroyed first. You can only break a colored block when you use these blocks to change your color to match them. And there's no block to change to being green. So if you mess up and change your color before all the green blocks are gone, kill yourself, you've lost. Also, these blocks kill you. Not sure why a plus sign of all things kills you, but whatever, stay away from hospitals. Uh, this is pretty boring. And not much fun. Not really sure what else there is to say about it. You just go around and break all the blocks. That's it. I don't even completely get how this game works. Sometimes I need to get these keys to get through these things, but then other times I can just break them myself. And sometimes I just can't hit these key things at all. Alright, game number two, Dark Sign. Let's do this. Well, that was Dark Sign. Alright, fine, I'll try again. Well, that was Dark Sign. Number three, Dino Tennis. Looks like a very primitive tennis game with dinosaurs. Too bad it's two player, so I don't really have much to say about it since I don't have anyone to play with. I have no one to play with. None of my friends wanted to play Dino Tennis with me. I don't know why. <laughs> Number four, Ooze. Oh, this looks pretty. This looks fun. I'm a happy little elf taking a stroll through a strange alien planet. And I know it's an alien planet because the gravity is so strong here that the fall damage is so great that my character implodes into himself into nothingness when he falls from too far. It's pretty cool if you think about it though. You're a tiny little alien elf exploring an alien planet. You're the last of your kind and you're going around destroying the enemy aliens with your ray gun in a race against time. Or something along those lines probably. So, you actually like this game? Well, of course I do! I'm an action game master! It's my birthright. I'm just gonna try and ignore you. Anyway, first thing I do is jump onto this- Hey, that's not very polite. Anyway, first thing I do is jump onto this platform, and I say that because it isn't a platform, it's a platform, because you fall right through the middle of it. Wish I knew that. You can't shoot while you're jumping and you die in a single hit. And... Yeah, it's just not fun. It's not good. They didn't even try. For example, you can't jump down to get off these platforms. The fall will kill me, so the only thing I can do to get down from here is jump off the side and just, like, lean to get back in. Alright, next. If they didn't try, then I don't need to either. Starball. It's pinball. That's it. Also, the left paddle doesn't always want to move. It's not that reliable. Maybe it's my controller, but I kind of doubt it. Nothing to say about it. Pinball. Starball. Number five. Number six is next. Six comes after five. Sidewinder. Half of the time, there's very little going on on the screen. And there's these guys that are just flying in my general direction. Just flying, they don't seem to be shooting at me or anything. There's the occasional missile that's very easy to avoid. There aren't even any points to get or anything to indicate that I'm making any progress. I have no way of knowing how much of this level is left. You can't even hit the planes that spawn on the bottom of the screen. Another lazy attempt at a game. Number seven, Daytona. Very simple driving game. The button for gear shift is A and the acceleration is C. So the two buttons are separated. It's annoying. That is all. Number eight, 15 puzzle. Um, pass? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass on this one. Nothing to say about it for obvious reasons. Number nine, sketch. You, you know, I, I really shouldn't keep playing the pass card, but uh, pass. And by the way, I have to keep getting up out of my chair and pressing the reset button every time that I want to change to a new game. It's very annoying. Number 10, Star Duel. You know what, I'm just gonna skip the two-player games. The ones in blue are all two-player, and I have very little to nothing to say about them, really. So don't worry, you're not missing out on much. Number 11, Haunted Hill. The graphics are so uninspired, and the controls are really stiff. Hey, that sounds familiar. Oh yeah, every single game that we've played so far. Pfft, how could I forget? One hit kills you, and all I have is this dinky little punch, and the hit detection isn't very good. Just gotta get the timing right when the enemies are walking towards you and hope that you hit them. Oh, Jesus, that is terrifying! I... can... can I even kill that guy? One hit from a friggin' rat kills me, and he's death himself. 
All of the enemies make the same UGH sound when they die. That actually goes for a lot of these games. The same UGH sound is used. L to the A to the Z. Y. Lays. I was trying to make a joke. Okay, next game. Next game is Alfredo. I have to catch food in my pot, and if it touches me, then I die, and if it touches the pot, then... Yum! Or at least I think that's what's going on. I can't really tell. The hit detection might just be really bad. Maybe it depends on the type of food? Whatever. I can just stand here. Literally, I am putting the controller on the floor, getting all the noodles I want, and I beat it. By standing in a single spot. Great, great game. The best cooking game since Cooking Mama. Oh, and let me just note how weird this is. Let's not let the weirdness be lost on us all. I'm a chef who isn't tall enough to see the fire under the giant pot, let alone cook what's in it properly. And good luck getting those dishes down, even I'd have trouble with that. Pasta, potatoes, fish, squared things with arms and legs, the last one doesn't even seem like food. And all the other ones have big giant eyes. For some reason, I don't feel like I really want any of this stew. I guess the fish makes sense there, but take the head off at least, Jesus. Yeah, they were clearly high when they made this one. <clears throat> Next game. Hey, come on, you've had to have played a weirder game than this. No, trust me, I really have. Okay, fine, good point, but still, next. Number 13, Cheetah Men. It's just like Haunted Hill, but a hell of a lot harder. This level is so non-linear. I think I have to collect a bunch of these... things, but I keep dying. The controls are so stiff and the camera always lags behind, so I can never, ever see anything that's in front of me. It's especially annoying when climbing up these trees, since enemies kill you with a single hit. Like right here, I'm just climbing up and suddenly there's a rhino there. There's no way that I can avoid that, even if I already know that it's there, it's very difficult. I can't even duck down to avoid stuff. Ugh, and you have to start the level all over again when you die. God damn it, no! I avoided the enemies, killed the snake, and even walked as far left as I could, and he was still able to touch and kill me. How can this game be this bad? A lot of this just seems untested, and just... I can't even say bad level design, there's just no level design. There's this branch with one of these things that I need to collect, and it has a vine so that I can climb up. But you can't. You don't fit. So I just jump through to get it. So then why is the vine even there? The hit detection for the vines is also really annoying and imprecise. I often find myself walking back and forth just trying to find the right spot to climb up. Okay, enough of this. Cheetah men suck. Next game. 14. Skirmish. Two player. Pass. It's probably terrible anyway. That might not be completely fair to say, but the title of this game is Action 52, so it is fair to say. Number 15, Depth Charge. Boring, next. No, really, that actually is all I have to say. This review is going to end up being way too long if I don't start blasting through these games. I've only done 15 so far. Luckily, for the most part, when you've talked about one of these games, you've talked about them all. 16, Mind's Eye. Okay, actually, I spoke too soon. The hell is this? I don't know what this is. What? The time isn't even counting down, it's going up. It says zero guesses up there, which leads me to think that this is a puzzle game, or is it just a guessing game? It... Oh yeah, but... yeah, okay, this sucks. Or I don't get it. Or both. Probably, probably both. 17, Alien Attack. What do I even say about games like this? It's boring and ugly, and the hit detection is weird, and it's boring, and it sucks. And it's ugly. And why are there so many stars in the sky? God, this is ugly. 18, Billy Bob. Once again, boring and ugly and just not good. All it is is shooting at slow moving targets. That's it. Pretty simple. But hey, just because something's simple doesn't necessarily mean that it's bad. Doesn't mean it's not. Good point. Next game is sharks. Half the time there aren't even any sharks on the screen. I'm just swimming around doing nothing, waiting for them to show up. 20, Knockout. Twenty-one, Intruder. Oh god, this is gonna give me a headache. What's with the weird pattern? Am I running around in front of a giant quilt? So, yeah, you run right to the edge of the screen, you die when you touch red, and some of the red lines are annoyingly close together. 
and an invisible wall. Why? Just put a wall there! Or, in keeping with this game's consistent art style, put a lazily ugly and simplistic graphic that kills you there. Easy. 22. Echo. It's just Simon Says. With the laziest graphics ever. Why is it that the actual physical Simon Says game looks better than this video game about it? I just... Okay, next. 23. Freeway. What the, what the hell? Freeway's already a game! In fact, half of these games are just carbon copies of games that already existed. None of them are as good as the originals, but it's clear that they're ripping them off. But this? This is just... They don't even care. They didn't even change the name of the game. It's it's Freeway. It's Freeway. That's that's my review. It's Freeway. Oh, oh god, no. That's terrible. They they killed it. They killed the dog. And they probably only put that in there as a deterrent from losing. Like a loser. Okay, next game. I want to get my mind off of killing innocent animals. 24 Mouse Trap. Okay, it turns out there aren't actually any physical mouse traps in this game, so I'll keep going. Get cheese, avoid cats. That's it. And the cats run into you from nowhere, since a lot of the cheese is at the edge of the screen, which is where the cats come from. 25. Ninja. Twenty-six. Slalom. It's ski-free. It's ski-free, but shittier. Next! Twenty-seven. Dauntless. It's just the shark one again. It's the same thing, but with different graphics. Twenty-eight. Force one. Go left and right and shoot. The game. Twenty-nine. Spidey. Oh my god, it's just Mousetrap again. They really couldn't think of enough games? They got so lazy that half of the games in this thing are the exact same thing. Yeah, but if the game that they're copying was great in the first place, then it's a good thing that they're doing that. But it's not good. Why do you keep defending this game? Oh, come on. You can play it and become an action game master. The coolest thing you can be. You've never played this game, have you? What? <laughs> of course I have. What are you... What are you even talking about? Have you ever played any video game? Yes, yes I have. I am an action game master. Of what? What are you a master of? Well, I... How did you earn that name? I'm the world champion of Super Mario Kart and Sonic R. You are. Yes, I will have you know that I am the best player in my hometown. Hometown? I placed in two tournaments in my hometown. Second place in Mario Kart, first in Sonic R. So, there. So then you're not the champion of anything, worldwide or otherwise. In Sonic R I am. I am in Sonic R. That's not something to be proud of. Okay, I'm getting distracted. I'm going back to the review. 30. Appleseed. Collect the red apples and avoid the green ones. You can also jump, which really doesn't come in handy at all. 31. Skater. Jesus, look at that kid jump! And this is some of the weirdest stop sign placement I've seen since Earthbound. Oh yeah, and the game goes on... forever. 32. Sunday Drive. This game sucks, but at least it's better than Big Rigs. Next game is Star Evil. Uninspired, boring, easy space shooter. Most enemies veer off to the side, so you don't even have to try to avoid them. 34. Air Command. Go left and right and shoot the game. 2. 35. Shootout. Just shoot everything and you win. Which seems like it would be easy, but by level 2 it becomes really difficult. You can't rapid fire and they move really fast. They're also such small targets and there's so many of them. After level 2, I swear to god, it's near impossible. 36. Bombs away. Got through a level by moving my character a total of 3 times. Well, it gets harder in later levels, I guess, but it's still boring. 37. Speedboat. It's just the car one again, but a boat instead. Also, I legit went to go to the washroom and left this game on in hopes of losing all my lives by the time I got back, and I won the level. Never moving. I was in the washroom, and I ended up winning the level. Hell, I almost got through level 2 before I finally died. 38. Dead Ant. I can't seem to kill these guys. Am I missing something? And, uh, the graphics are taken straight out of Spidey. They just lazily made, like, 40 really crappy minigames and then copied some of them so that there were a total of 52. And then sold it for 200 bucks. They couldn't even make unique graphics for all of them. 39. G-Fighter. 
Another boring space shooter. Nothing's happening. Forty man at arms. This is the closest one in the entire game to being a little bit of fun, until two guys from opposite sides come at you at the same time, and then you can't win. Next, forty-one Norman. Why does my tank bleed? Forty-two. I'm not even gonna bother with armor battle. Just go to the next one. Forty-three Magic Bean. Weird name. Oh, I get it. Okay, avoid the stuff. That's it. That that's the game. There's even stuff falling down out there, even though I can't go that far. Good level design, guys. Those are... They're, they're really serving a purpose. Hey, wait. I made it to the top and I reached the castle. Does Jack have to wake up every morning and climb a new beanstalk? What a horrible life. 44. A potch... A pat... I don't even know how to pronounce that. Oh, God. I'm a green helicopter over a dark green ground, covered in trees, the same shade of green as me. Oh, and those kill you. Even though the borders on the sides are moving at a different speed, which gives it the illusion of depth, making me think that those things were on the ground just like the trees. Okay, sure, why not. 45, paratrooper. No comment. Yeah, just, let's just finish this game. 46, Sky Avenger. It's the same game as a bunch of other ones in this game. It also reuses the graphics from Bombs Away. 47, sharpshooter. Shooting at bunnies, frogs, and... Pink Pac-Man. All I have to do is go left and right shooting and I can never lose. 48. Another shooter! This one you can hold the shoot button down, so all I have to do now is just go left and right. Sounds familiar. 49. Black Hole. Oh look, I'm done talking about it already, that was fast, jeez. 50. The Boss. It's hard going up and down the ladders, also you're a dinosaur. 51. First game. What? Oh, God, it, it's Pong. Which I don't think was technically the first game, by the way. Also, very confusing name. First game? Yeah, great job, guys. You really thought that through. Also, it's not even fun, Pong, because you're playing it with a D-pad. You need analog controls for Pong, you morons. That's why it was so fun. Also, they made one of their 52 games Pong. They... They put in Pong. I am this close to throwing this game out the window. This last game better be good enough to stop me. 52. Challenge. It's just a challenge mode. Which means you get the honor of playing through every single one of those games again! This game sucks! It sucks, 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 sucks! Yeah, but if you think about it... No, no, it sucks. It's a How can you deny this? Don't actually answer that, just shut up, this game is horrible. And from what I've heard and from what I've seen, the NES version is even worse than this. By a long shot. But thank god we aren't talking about that one today. I'm done, I just played 52 terrible games and now I need a cold shower. And that last game wasn't even a game. By any stretch of the imagination, this game should be called Action 51. But noob, the challenge mode is great! Why? Why are you so sure about that? Because it says right there that if you play it, you can become an action game master just like me! Why do you exist? This game had a suggested retail price of $200 when it first came out. What a horrible crime against life itself. I feel so bad for anyone who spent $200 thinking that they were getting 52 games and then got this. This game is a lazy, ugly, frustrating mess. And it was also such an obvious cash grab. One of those products that was so obviously developed very quickly with little to no budget just to scam people. This game is bad. It's really bad. It's just, it's so cheap. And it's... You know what? It's just, it's terrible. That's it. The review is done. You can leave. Yeah, you're right. I should probably leave. Give you time to play that game that I sent you. What? What are you talking about? I just played it. No! <laughs> no, I mean the other game that I sent you. The one in the box! The box? But... If you can apparently just throw games at me from wherever you are somehow, then why'd you send me a game in a box? Oh, well, I just didn't want to have to touch it. You know. What? Well, I gotta get going. See ya! I have a really bad feeling about this. Oh well, whatever.